And what was it that first attracted you to Michael Mulpergo's story and made you want to adapt it to the stage? It's a very good question about what attracted me to it because um, I was actually in the bath and I was listening to uh, a radio programme, the Today programme, and there was Michael Mulpergo, this was back in 2003, um, and he was uh, reading from his, his new novel, um, Five Past Ten, I Have the Whole Night Ahead of Me, I Shan't Sleep, I Won't Dream It Away. I must remember everything exactly as it happened, exactly as it was. Tonight, more than any other night of my life, I want to feel alive. And so I sat up in the bath, don't picture me sitting up in the bath, um, and uh, I realised that this was a story about a young uh, boy growing up in rural uh, Devon, um, who then goes off uh, to fight in the First World War. And it was all told from his point of view, and he reenacts his story. This is what happens in the novel. Um, so I realised what a, an amazing thing that you could do a one-person show completely based on the uh, on, on, on Michael's story. So it was really it was it was the the voice of the story and the conception of the uh, of the story as a novel that they made me realise how how well it would work as a one-man show.